This video highlights the findings from the letter entitled Design and Experimental Validation of a Velocity Decomposition-Based Controller for Underactuated Planar Bipeds. While HCD-based control is very effective for controlling undisturbed biped walking, it is sensitive to velocity disturbances in the unactuated degree of freedom and has no feedback mechanism to regulate speed of progression when the robot is pushed off the periodic orbit. Two alternative control strategies are compared throughout the paper, transverse linearization feedback control and velocity decomposition enhanced control. Transverse linearization feedback control improves robustness to velocity disturbances by adding a feedback on the unactuated velocity, but practical implementation is limited due to the complexity of the optimal control problem. Velocity decomposition enhanced control uses simple heuristic rules to approximate the functionality of transverse linearization while retaining simplicity of implementation. The new framework decomposes the system's velocities into controlled and uncontrolled directions. DSDT, the time rate of change of the uncontrolled velocity, is independent of the control input, but provides information this work exploits to improve disturbance rejection performance. The error in DSDT is defined as the difference between the reference and actual signals. A torso offset proportional to the error acts to shift the biped center of mass in response to a disturbance. Using a three-link model, the torso offset is layered on the output of a conventional HCD-based controller to retain simplicity of implementation for higher dimensional systems. The new method was compared to conventional HCD in simulation using the three-link model. This animation shows the controller's responses following a deceleration disturbance, where the red cross indicates that the disturbance is added during the third step. Velocity decomposition is able to reject the disturbance and return to steady state much faster than HCD-based control. In simulation, HCD required five steps to return to steady state following a deceleration disturbance, whereas transverse linearization and velocity decomposition only required two. These trends were also consistent in response to an acceleration disturbance. Velocity decomposition was applied to a five-link biped and tested in experiment. This recording compares the response of HCD-based control and the proposed control method following a deceleration disturbance. In response to the disturbance, velocity decomposition pitched the torso forward to regain momentum and regulate speed of progression. In experiment, velocity decomposition required five steps to return to steady state, as opposed to nine for HCD-based control. Because velocity decomposition returned to steady state faster, the average cost of transport was higher than for HCD-based control. The proposed method also returned smaller average and peak knee torques. In conclusion, the new control method improved disturbance rejection performance in both simulation and in experiment. This new controller also resulted in smaller average and peak stance knee torques.